You guys don't forget, like and love, like and love, like and love, like and love. Like and love. Hey, all right, hey. all right, all right, all right. Happy Thursday. Hey. Happy networking Thursday. That's we right. Happy again. networking. Brand new week. Is it networking Thursday? That's what we're going to call it from now on, right? Networking Thursday. All right. That's, that's awesome. That's right. We're missing Miss Shakita. Miss Shakita. We she's not her, here. So you guys won't see her tonight. Right. Well, for a couple of weeks right now, right? For a couple of weeks. Okay. She's, she's in recovery. A couple of weeks? Yep. She's gonna, she, she says she's going to journey her, her her progress, right? Yes. Well, can't they yep. just, can they just wheel her in here? Okay. We might need her energy in here. Yeah, yeah we will. Can they just wheel, wheel, wheel her in? Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't act like you're not to talk on this mic. Pull it close. Oh no, like, Saeed. How long, how Saeed. Have we been doing this now? That's right. Long enough. I know. To know better. My bad. Yes, my bad. My bad. My hey, bad. Hey, you guys, forgive me for my voice that sounds this way because I have a cold. Uh, but I got a nice shot right here. Smearing off peach. Shot shooting. Okay. Shot. All right. So my voice should get right in a few shot minutes. Shot shooting. Hey, shout out to Saeed. Saeed, eight fifteen, shorty. Hey, okay. hey, hey. Well, nice. thanks, you guys. Thanks for tuning in for another week, another fabulous week. Yep. We are here. We're ready. Um, yes. We're going to start off with some very important news. Hey, you're looking cute. I like Why, this. Thank you. I got I some like hair. This. I got you some want holiday <laughs> hair. <laughs> I, got, I like that. I got some holiday hair okay. with a little bit of color. Nice. Y'all like that? Yep. I little like bit. it. A little, like little bit of I pay for this. I pay for these tracks, too. Shout out to Trina, my classmate. Well, all right. Trina, good job. Trina G. <laughs> nice. So, um, we have a very important announcement to make, actually, you guys. We are going to be holding auditions. That's right. Um, as you guys know, Miss Sassy Ways is not with us anymore. No, but we um, wish her the we best. We wish her the very best. Yep. She was awesome, and we enjoyed her company. Mm -hmm. And we know we're going to see her around. But we are going to be holding auditions for our fourth networking chick. That's right. Sunny need a new chick. So, Sunny need a new chick. Sunny need a new chick. Sunny need a new chick. So, you guys, if you want to audition. Sunny needs a new chick. You want to audition, come through. There is some requirement. Please. Yes. One them. must learn from their mistakes. <laughs> yes. Okay. There are some requirements. Go ahead, Mercy. All right. Go ahead and list them, please. All right. First of all, can you have a J-O-B with a couple of dollars? Okay. Just That's a few first. Dollars. Hey, because you know we have to put in where we fit. There are there That's are right. there are fees. This is not completely free. No, it's not. So no, we, it um, is not free. Yeah, it's no. not. It's not free. We have a lot of fun up here, but we have to pay to play. Yes. So, <laughs> and we want you to use this as a platform for yourself as well. Yeah, tell them, Miss so. right? but tell them That's one more right. time. Go ahead, use it as that. a platform for yourself. And because it'll work of why for you. you make what out of what? Yeah, yeah, we make believers out of dreams. Somebody better call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have fun tonight on this Christmas show, y'all. We are auditioning. All we right. will let you all know, y'all. Yes. Come on, get with yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. Don't yes. be a hater. Come on, get with the team because we got some good. Yep. We got girls at TV station managing <laughs> people magazines. <laughs> sunny being sunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make this thing work out here. So nice. I definitely, you you see the cat call out there? Y'all get on it. Let us yeah. know. And we said we're looking for one chick. Because we already got one boat chick in the way. Okay. We, 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 well, you know, we also need two two assistants as well, too. So yeah, if you want to be a networking definitely. chick assistant. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Um, for separate projects, not for networking chicks. So we are looking for two assistant, right? You need one? At, yes. At the magazine. Yes. And I need yes. one to work with me yes. and my artist. And someone else asked me to be a manager for them as well. That's a surprise. But, I just need somebody to um, help me to remember to look at my calendar <laughs> so that I know what I got going on. Okay. Because you done missed some stuff. I done missed a whole okay. lot of stuff. You missed I, the whole part of Thursday night. Yeah, you <laughs> missed a whole part. We're going to get back to that in a minute, though, y'all. <laughs> there i was there lord merry christmas everybody okay merry christmas merry happy christmas. holidays yes okay. yes happy happy holidays what you give me what you give me what you it's mean it's in the car oh, it's in the car that. you ain't get this and now i got a co-worker that's gonna tap merry in christmas. hey frank shout out to frank. what is this merry christmas no nah, heifer no uh-uh and put him back <laughs> and he's white i don't want him not right now only thing i want merry is white christmas. is merry maybe christmas. jeremy that's it Oh, Jeremy. Okay. Jeremy. <laughs> That's about all I want this white. No, thank you. Not right now. Uh, Not right now. Up. Here come Jeremy. Well, okay. <laughs> Look at Jeremy. What you say? Did somebody call me? 
<laughs> nice. Okay, so that's, that's all right. Awesome. So yeah, so you guys just um yeah, keep in mind. Look forward to the day <laughs> we'll be posting that soon, um on our social okay, media friend. um stations, uh that we will be holding auditions for our fourth networking chicks. We're looking forward to that chick, not chicks. Yeah, chick, chick. Um, so we're looking forward to that. So you guys um. Get yourselves ready. Okay. Get yourselves All ready. right. That's Tiva, right. What you got going on for Christmas? Uh, for Christmas, I'm going to be at your house, I think, as always. No, or my other be, auntie's house. Yeah, we're going to be at your cousin's house. Okay, okay. That's, that's, that's where we're going. This is okay. the family edition of Four Networking Chicks. <laughs> yeah, this is the family edition today. This is the family edition. <laughs> okay. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. And, yes. Uh, go see my dad. Um, we didn't yes. get some... Y'all keep my father in prayer for me, okay, yes. please, because yes. he's not doing well. Um, we had a, a bad day with him today as far as some news. So, But we're going to be prepared, and we're going to be okay. That's right. Ain't that right, Sonny? And we rocked out earlier, baby. <laughs> she yeah. makes him laugh. <laughs> we rocked, me and Mr. Simmons rocked out. <laughs> okay. Oh, awesome. She makes Dad laugh. So. And when the fat butt nurse walked past, he sure got a little bit of life. Oh. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Good grief. Hey, Vanessa. first of all, can we give a shout out to Vanessa? Yes, Vanessa let's give a shout out to out. Vanessa. The cutest party. Yes, Vanessa. she did. Yes. Girl, I yes. love it. Yes. I love it. It was so, so cute. Yes. But it was so crowded. So next time, move some furniture out the way. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good, great. Bridget wanted to see the strippers. Yes. Yeah. Like but Vanessa oh, what, did a good no, job for her pre party. One of them had on the cutest. Outfit. Yeah. You really the was stripper. looking at her clothes? Yeah. I was looking at her too. Yeah. But okay. Her oh, she had on hey, the hottest suit. That's at right. The... So V Day was off the chain. Man, V Day was everything. Yes. V Day was everything. Yes. If y'all didn't come to V Day, y'all y'all mm -hmm. missed that because yes. that was a nice party. She did that. Yeah, Definitely. she did that. She did that. Okay. Yes. Yes. Frank White, he did a great job. Yes, Eric. Yes. Um, it was a good guy, Eric. Eric did a good mm -hmm. job. So it was really yes. nice. I, we enjoyed that party. So they and let I, us do our black carpet sexy. there. Very, very sexy. I, I uh -huh. definitely want to give a shout out. out to one of the chicks. Tiva showed up and showed out all over again. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, we got all interviews with all types of people. Yeah, we, we got, got good interviews. Stacey Tyson did a wonderful interview. Oh, yes, yeah, Stacey. Stacey. Yes, yeah, she did. Yep. And we called hey, her right Rhea. before she went to them Titan Awards and tore that carpet up over there. That's, that's right. That's right. That's Ivy right. Small that's in from right. Salon Couture definitely came Excellent. through. Yes. Steve Roy hit the carpet. Steve Roy Excellent. hit the carpet. Excellent. Frank White hit the carpet. Frank White. The young Ed. lady that's singer for uh, Kendrick and the Family Stone. Tiva did a good job. Yeah. She oh, got, Bella Donna. Bella. Hey, hey, yeah, with the girl. Yeah. Yeah, she, did yeah. that. she held it down yes, for the team. She I did. That's go, right. But she held it down for that's the team. That's all right. You did yeah. the event early with Miss Dana Day, so that worked itself out. Y'all never right. worked no Saturday. Yeah, we had yes, a great event. Me and Dana yes, had a great, great event. Yep. So thank you, Miss Lady, for inviting me. I look forward to attending more. Okay. Um. So we had a great time. Good. So, yeah, Saturday was an excellent networking day. Okay. And we had a great time, so. Let's That's take good. a break real quick. Yep. Let's take We're going to come back with some more fun. Some That's phone right. Calls That's and right. Mr. Saheed, get ready. Okay. It's yeah. a Chuck Brown Christmas out here. Okay. <laughs>
down the chimney About a quarter to three Left these cards and presents Right here for me introduce our guest. Yes. Bam, thank you for having us on your show. Ooh. We had a ball. We had a ball had on a the ball. Different Minds so, show over yes. at Go Go Radio. Yes. So thank you so much for having us on your show. You the best. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we now, appreciate that. And Bam will be a guest on our show soon, too. Um, yes, I have, yes, to yes. Ch- I have to check his calendar as oh, his manager. Yes. Okay. So... <laughs> So, Siva, so, how about you introduce our guest? All right. Our guest is somebody that is on social media that is, like, totally off the chain. Um, been knowing him, I think, since ninth grade uh, and Friendly High School. So um, this is just, like, a treat. Um, today we have Mr. Fuck Your Feelings. Excuse <laughs> me, Mom. Okay, Woo. in studio. Um, Mom, so Mr. Fuck Your Feelings as our guest today go. on the show. Is he on there? Yep. You ready? You ready? Can you hear? Can you hear? I can hear y'all. Can oh, y'all he can hear us. So, right, so can you guys? Right. <laughs> the man of the Shout out hour. to Friendly Patriots. Um, that's our that's our boy. <laughs> can y'all hear him on the on the on the um social media? Can y'all hear him? Saeed, can you see Saeed? Can you hear him? 
I can okay. hear y'all. He can all hear right. us. Okay. Thank all you, right. Good, you. good, 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 good. Mr. Fuck your feelings. Mr. Fuck your feelings. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He couldn't make it to the station with us, you guys. But That's he right. was so kind to call in. Yep. Um, he wanted to keep up with his obligation, and we appreciate it. That's right. We appreciate, I appreciate that. Y'all having me. All right. Can you, uh, you're starting a business. Is that correct? Can you tell us about your business a little bit? Yeah. So, you know, we've been in the wireless business for a little while now. So, we got a couple of new stores opening one over on uh, Central Avenue on Addison Road. Okay. Uh, 6516 Central Avenue. That's opening in a couple of days. And then and in February, we're opening another Metro PCS out in Glen Burn. Nice. Oh, awesome. All right. Hey, I, hey, I, know, got a, I have a 14 year old that needs a job. Y'all hiring? Yeah, we hiring. But you know, our interview process is probably a little different for a 14 year old. <laughs> okay. You, you okay. Be, you got to be probably about 21 years old to come in our store, you know. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> look, look, let me tell you, his tennis shoes, $200 and up. He needs a job. Uh, okay. Brother, I got a five-year-old to need a job. All right. You know, he got his... He got his own iPad, you know. It breaks one every other month. So I got a fire yo looking for a job too. Okay, me, all right. Saying. Okay, good. So we're gonna um, ask you some few questions. We know that you are very well versed in everything. I mean, I mean, you Uh-oh. name it, you could talk about it and be, you know, professional and funny at the right. same time. So right. we're gonna throw some stuff out here, right? Bridges is gonna start first, and we want you to answer it in your own way. Okay. okay. Let's talk politics. All right. All right. Why do you think there are less black Republicans? What's your opinion on that? Well, I mean, it's kind of funny the way it turned out because the Republican Party used to be majority black many years ago. Um, you know, so the party of Lincoln that was Republican, that, that was a, that was a lot of blacks belong to that. But as the, the, the socioeconomics changed in the country, when a lot of people moved from the south to the north, more folks ended up becoming Democrats over time. And so now everybody shifted on Democrat side. Okay. And it's, it's sad because unfortunately, Dem- you know, the Democrats get taken advantage, I mean, I'm sorry, the blacks get taken advantage now by the Democrats, the vote is taken for granted. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, it, 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 it's rough out there either way. If you black the Republican, black Democrat, don't make a difference, it's gonna be rough either way, no matter how you shake it. You're right, you're right. So how do you feel about Obama and his policies versus Trump's policies? Well, pr- Trump Trump is just dumb as a bag of annihilator. I mean, he, he just, he just, he just, <laughs> right? he's just dumb. So, I mean, they, 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 you got to think about this for a second. You know, Obama had a perfect record coming in office. No divorces, no bankruptcies, no scandal. And here we got Trump, right? right? And we got Trump with multiple divorces, multiple bankruptcies, beat the people at Trump University out that money, you know, won't release his taxes, and somehow he wins president-elect with no political experience at all whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So I'm not always a big fan of everything Obama does, but when you compare him to that idiot that's, that's about to take over in January, Obama looks like Jesus right. compared to that idiot. But okay. look, wait a minute. This, did, did you hear about this um, function that he's having called cufflinks and um, uh, 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 cu- cufflinks and, and uh, camouflage event where he's charging $1,000 to attend or a million dollars to attend? I heard some about a pay for play where where folks were, um, you know, invited to show up, and essentially what they're doing is buying access. They buying access to Trump. But I mean, right. would you expect anything different? Exactly. I You're mean, exactly right. Trump been a crook forever. Why would you expect anything different now? He ain't gonna stop being a crook You're because exactly he's right. gonna take over. He's gonna be more of a crook now That's than right. he ever been. With with our That's money, right? Say. say it again. With our money. Well, absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, absolutely, one hundred percent. Yes. One thing about one thing about Trump, he ain't lying to you. He he telling you I'm gonna take your money. Yeah, he's right. gonna take lying. the bag, I'm gonna take your money, I'm a gangster you out of everything. Right. That's and right. they fell for it. Yeah, you're right. So one of the things you posted up before, you said, What has he done for black people? Do you feel like he's done nothing for black people? Would, well let me, let me let me tell you the the best thing President Obama did for black people. He freed some some slaves. And when I say he did that, prisoner, uh, he let a lot of guys go, you know, gave a lot of commuters a lot of sentences, brought a lot of guys home. Okay. That's the best thing that he's really done for people of color, specifically okay. for people of color. That's okay. what I look at. And okay. he, and my, my problem with it is that he had eight years, he should have just pushed through something, one thing, proposed one thing that could have been a benefit directly to black. And unfortunately, he didn't do that. So that's where he failed, he failed me personally. 
Okay. So what's the one thing you think? like, And, and then what do you think about Obamacare? Well, Obamacare is, yeah, absolutely, health care for everybody. But if you look at the, the tenets of, and I know you couldn't get a perfect system, right? But if you look at Obamacare, in many cases, it's still unaffordable for the working class. Mm -hmm. so, the, so the working class guy can't afford a six or $700 policy, you know, every single month. Now, that beats not having any insurance at all. But at the end of the day, there's still a lot of um, things with Obamacare that need to be fixed. Now, and then Obamacare wasn't specifically designed for, it was designed for the country, which I understand he had to govern the entire country. But my thing is everybody comes to the table and gets what they need. If the Latinos are going to get what they need. The LGBT community is going to get what they need. The bankers are going to get what they need. Everybody going to get what they need except us. Okay. Right. And, and you got eight years to get, get something. I, I don't even, I don't even, I'm not even mad if it didn't go through. But just take the shot. Just shoot the shot. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you, I mean, I'm, I'm listening to you, and I'm, I have to say I'm very impressed. Let okay. me just say that, first of all. Have yeah, you I can ever, read. Have I, can you, read. I, went, I got a high school diploma. I I got, school. Boy, you sound like you got more than that. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, went somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, have you, I mean, you're very real, well versed in politics. Have you ever thought about running for office? No, nah, my record too fucked up to run for no party. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, here we go. They run. Here if we they go. put my name in that machine, it's going to blow up. Okay. I promise you right back. <laughs> Never mind. Home, Homeland Security going to be on their way to see me. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay, real quick. So uh, here's another question. Black folks and money, rights, wrongs, do's and don'ts. What you think? No, you said black folks and money? Yeah. What do you mean? Rights, wrongs, do's and don'ts. What are we doing right? What do we like do we wrong? Get, we get money, and the first thing what do we, we do, do is with our money? Material stuff. Well, you know, the, you know, the first thing in this area, the first thing a, a, a Negro do that he get get any money, he run out tights of corn. Okay, tights of corn. Thing. <laughs> you, you, right. That's the. I mean, the, the women gonna run the Louis Louis Vuitton. The men gonna run the sacks. They gonna get them goofy looking shoes. They gonna overpay, overpay for them, uh -huh. and that's what most guys and most people gonna do. Unfortunately, in this particular area. Wait a minute. Area. What's goofy looking shoes though? Let me make I mean, sure I don't a have a pen. I mean, take your pick. Close your eyes and just look on social media <laughs> one day. Oh, nice. There's a bunch of goofy-looking shoes on there. You, I mean, I, I, I ain't telling y'all no lies. Okay. <laughs> so what should we do with our money? You need to reinvest back into your community. That's See, right. See, the problem is we don't have communities. We got neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Because what a community is, community reinvests back into its own. Very we good. got neighborhoods. We take everybody's stuff in. We don't send nothing out. Okay. So if you don't have your own banks, if you don't have your own dry cleaners, own construction company, accountants, attorneys, how's the money being recycled in your community? Exactly. So we need to take our dollar and spend it with us, with okay. people that look like us. You know, people will walk right past our store or, or right past anybody that's self-employed here and go to the next store and pay more for inferior service and come back to us to complain. Mm -hmm. That's the mentality of a lot of people of color, unfortunately. Okay. You're right. Okay. Well, um, another right. question. Sex. Is it overrated? Now, you always talk about because you're a big boy, you only got about five minutes or something like that. <laughs> no, nah, so you got to oh, stand I up. I heard that one, yeah. I, I, I told you I got, hold on, I told you I got 27 minutes. 27 That's minutes, fun. okay. But, four, but 14 of it is a drive home. Okay. Right? Okay. <laughs> another five, right? We had another five is a little bit of full play. Oh, my God. You know, and, and then you got about, I got about a good seven minutes, good seven or eight. But it's going to be a good seven or eight, though. Okay. It's, I, I can promise you. Okay, that's that's the best seven or eight minutes of our life. That, that that's but, but you know it's not overrated. You know what it is. What I mean, if you in your forties right now and you've been around the city, I mean, unless she gonna jump on a chandelier and do three back flips and you. land on it, like what? I mean, what else is there for me to see? Okay, I say it all the time. Unless your stuff is wrapped in gold, <laughs> I've seen it all. <laughs> And then now everybody cheating. Every dude over 40 using Viagra or Cialis or something. <laughs> really? You think? So, man, listen. Listen, you come to me, I'm going to get naturally, right? <laughs> so, that dude may get you two hours. I'm not going to give you two hours. I'm going to give you 27 minutes. I told you 27 <laughs> minutes. And 14 of it going to be the ride home. That's it. All right? So, wow. you're not, wait a minute. That, so, you're you not even going to stay and cuddle? Uh, you know what? Because I'm fat, right? And I drink. <laughs> I, I typically go to sleep. I'll oh, sleep okay. Anyway. Man, I'll sleep at the red roof, and I'll sleep anyway. So I, don't like, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll cut. Are, are red roof ends still open? <laughs> <laughs> you have bed bugs in there. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
So, so um, you you short on that part, okay? What else excites you? What what excites you, and what what pisses you off? Like, what excites you, and what pisses you off? You, you, you know what, what excites me more than anything else is just seeing people have a good time. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, in anything that they do, whether they're going to work, whether they're running their business, it just that that excites me to see people that just love life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They just love like I can't stand people to get out the bed and complain. You know, you get out the bed, you, you grab your phone, and you get on social media to complain as your first post of the day. Mm-hmm. You hate the traffic, you hate the coffee, you hate the job, you hate your ex, you hate the turn. I, I, that that irritates me more than anything else. I love people to love life. Okay. You know, and and, and that's really where fuck is gonna change from. To be honest with you, it's okay. like I really don't care about anybody's feelings. I'm gonna say what I want to say. Yeah. Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. I don't have no breaks and I don't have no boundaries. No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah, people will tell you I'm I'm worse in person. Okay. Than than than, than I am on social media. So. Yeah, I I believe you because do you remember uh, uh, a few Sequoia. months ago? Yeah, we met you up at Sequoias. We were with um I was in, doing an interview for the magazine with Rodney Foster. I'm not gonna. I, I'll never forget your pretty ass, bitch. I'm gonna. I, I, I'm gonna that. <laughs> I remember yeah. we were sitting right there. Yes, yeah, we're, you, we're you were in rare form. Right. <laughs> yeah. That day. So, so real quick. Oh, what, explain this real quick, because this is this is the truth. Women don't tell each other when they go to the club how they look. Like you get disgusted when women. And their girlfriends are out in the club, and she got on two small shirt and all of that stuff. Like Man, that bothers you me to, so bad. You, you're trying to get me to go in on fast Eddie's, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't Wait talk about minute. them. I Wait love fast Eddie's. Yeah, I like fast Eddie's. That's where I'm going tonight. Man, let me tell you something. You you want to see a girl with her two big foot stuffed in a two small shoe? <laughs> go to fast Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> you hate fast. He he hate fast Eddie's. Man, he yeah. Uh, Straight from the park. Right. Man, that don't look terrible, man. It look like she just had been at checkers. She just okay. spilled some mayonnaise on herself, man. Come on over there. The club. I mean, my thing is at least present yourself in a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? If especially if you're not necessarily the greatest looking person in the world, at least you can have clean clothes on. Right. I mean, when they stop coming to the party with clean clothes on, right. who does that? So you feel like they their their girlfriends are lying to them, right? Like, girl, you look good, but then Man, their girlfriend's hitting the dipper. <laughs> girlfriend's on the molly. What? Right? So their girlfriend's half drunk out there, man, or high before they get there. They don't know what they're looking at. They say, okay. girl, you look good. Come right. on, baby, you look good. Right. So they lying to him. Lying. Okay. All day. All day. Because I've seen it with my own eyes. Okay. Multiple weeks. All good. <laughs> good well, let, tell me this. Give me three tips that you would give women dating in the D.C. area right now. Well, one, make sure that he only like girls. That's okay. one, Wait a minute. That should be number one and two. And <laughs> well, three. I hope so. Man, y'all know what I'm telling you. I ain't telling no lies. So, I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, and, and number two, lower your expectations. Why? Okay. Why? Look, look at the numbers right now. Okay, so the numbers in D.C., right? Oh, probably here we go with the 30, numbers. Probably about 35 to 1 heterosexual women and men. Okay. Okay, so... You got guys right now that got no car, mm. no job, mm. no credit, no mm. nothing. No and nothing. They got the, and they got the pick of the litter because they got a Planet Fitness membership. <laughs> and they, right? Right. They working, they working out three days a week. And they, man, they dating a, a woman that is a professor at Howard. Okay. So, I mean, right. So, so you got to lower your expectations here, right? Or the number, number two tip, when you find somebody... Stop being so hard on them. Mm-hmm. You already know how rough it is out on these streets. Mm-hmm. So if you find a nice guy, a square guy, a guy that you like, make some work with him. That's my whole thing. Right, right. You're always trying to trade up or trade out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They can stay with what you got. The mm-hmm. devil you know sometimes is better than the devil you don't. That, you know oh, what I'm saying? Okay. You better, boy, okay. say it again. Yeah, so, and then I, I guess the number three, I guess yeah. the number three tip for real, I mean, stop trying to hustle dudes all the time. We know the hustle. Mm-hmm. We know we know when y'all called us when you hungry. We know when we <laughs> call y'all and y'all in between checks. Okay. We know when you, when you... <laughs> Our engineer is cracking up. <laughs> we know we, we we know when y'all call us and and you, that 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 cable bill is a little bit light right before the holidays. We know right. all these stories. Right. So stop calling with the same sob story. 
man, you know, they bounce my paycheck at work. Hold on, baby, you work at the Department of Defense. How right. Social paycheck. That's a lie. You know she lying. Come on now. Give me a better one than Wait that. Wait a minute. Our engineer is cracking up. Right, right, right. So she lying. She lying about the government check bouncing. That's a lie. Right. <laughs> right. That's a lie. So y'all already it. know and that. Then, I love it. And then here the funny part about it is that, that, that woman is telling that lie. She's telling 10 dudes that, that know each other the same lie. The same oh, lie. Oh, okay. Like, like, you okay. just don't know we know each other. Okay. So, I mean, we all sitting around laughing at your goofy ass. We're telling you a stupid ass story. Uh, who talk the most, men or women? As far Man, as men. That's, that's, that's a good one. This, this is what I will say. When men cheat, men talk more. Women cheat, they don't talk as much. Right. Okay. Right. Man, a woman could cheat, man, with a dude. Man, she could be banging the post office dude, and you have no idea. They've been banging for 22 years, and she'll <laughs> never tell her girl. <laughs> <laughs> never. Not one time. A dude, oh, man, you know, we messy with it. We terrible, man. You're going you gonna to see us at Woodmont Grill. You're going to see us now at SDK. <laughs> okay. Person. Exactly. Because y'all stupid. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Y'all going, man, y'all going to be on some creep shit. We catch y'all at the Outback in Sterling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that's what... Oh, order some kookaboo wings. They, they just out back in Sterling. I'm like, ah, baby, I didn't know you knew how to get out here. You know? Oh, my God. Yes. Okay. So, so uh, women who, um, you said that uh, guys should date women that live out in McLean. Why? You said, you said oh, I'm sorry, I missed that last part. Of that. You said women, we, uh, guys should date women that live out in McLean, Virginia. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You see, no, well, I said that. I said that for me. Yeah, oh, okay. See, 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 the problem is that this is the problem. We have to date up on, on your. You have to date on your level. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, and, and no, no offense, because you know our stores in Capitol Heights, right? Right. But uh, you know that, that the young lady living in Capitol Heights is a lot different than young lady living in McLean. Okay. I mean, y'all know I ain't telling no lies there, right? I ain't right. No You're lies. right. And that, now watch everybody from Capitol Heights going to inbox me. Y'all know I'm gonna cuss every one of y'all out. <laughs> right, you know right, right. So don't, don't, don't. But, 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 so my thing is, if you want something different, man, move, go out Route Seven or something. Okay. Go out Route 123. Meet somebody a little bit different. Get away from doing the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's third date is at Lucky Strike. Y'all don't know how to do nothing what? else but go to Lucky Strike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I haven't even been to Lucky Strike. Where's Lucky Strike? It's the bowling alley. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the bowling okay. alley, right? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, man, you know, yeah. you, everybody say, well, meet me at the bar on Fridays in Sutton, right? Yeah. But well, the reason why he's taking you to the bar in Sutton because he know he can get that $4 Long Island night seat. Oh, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So and, right. I ain't even think about that. That's and a, the bartender gonna make the first two kind of soft for you to reel you in. Then he gonna give you the next three real strong. That's all he's looking for. Oh, you know? okay. So, so we not going there. A little different. Okay, we're not going there. Last question, real quick, Bridget. What's the last question? Bitch assness. Whoa. Explain you, that. Yeah, explain definition and an example of what you consider bitch assness. Whew, y'all, man, y'all might as well give me a two-hour show for this one. <laughs> <laughs> we know you I, well, hate I, it. Right. I'll give, I'll give you a recent example. Okay. Right. This is bitch ass shit, right? Now, you know your girl is fucking around, right? She community property at this point. Community, you know, wait a minute. What is community city? property? <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, now, wait a minute. Stuff don't get past me. What is community property? <laughs> Now wait a minute. Man, <laughs> wait a minute. My different. son is in here cracking up. What? <laughs> what is community property? Because I don't all know what that is. Zip codes share. Huh? Zero seven four. All the different zip codes guys share around. Zero seven four three. Zero seven four four. Two hundred twenty. Two hundred nineteen. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> she belongs to us. She belongs to the community. Wait a minute. So that's community minute. property. So that's community for us. So you know your woman is out there. I mean, it ain't no secret, right? Uh-huh. You know, there ain't no, you find magnums in her glove compartment. You know you don't wear no magnum. You know she all the way out there, right? What? So, the bitch, bitch ass shit is this. You following her all around the city, popping up on other guys, and, you know, wondering what's going on. Bro, you know what's going on. <laughs> so come on, man. Stop. Can you can you let another dude have her for a few minutes? Everybody what? else can have her. What? You know what I'm what? Oh, no, our engineer is back here giving you a high five. No, wait a minute. 
No, that's not even fair. It's community It's community Whatever. property. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. It's communal. So, that's so exactly you definitely right. use a condom with community property. Yeah, yeah. See, that's see, that's the reason why I can't be out there. Okay. You know, I, you know, I don't, I don't believe in those. You know, I don't even know what that is. Is that must be some new invention or something? Oh, you know okay, okay. So, okay. So dudes in other inboxes, dudes in other dudes inboxes. That's another example. That shit is terrible. Let me tell you something. You got guys on your on your Facebook page that take screenshots huh? of stuff you do and send it to your girl. What? Oh. Our, our engineer, yeah. ooh, he sound like he done had that happen recently. Right, Wiley, he, he sat on? up in his chair. Okay. Let me, let me, let me tell you something. It is the most, it, 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 it's a group of them. They travel in packs. Okay. Right, they travel, they all goofy. Every one of them goofy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so right. They travel in goofy packs. Okay. And and, 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 those, and believe it or not, these are the guys you see dressed up at a party. They, they, they appear to be real popular, but they're so insecure. Okay. They be on your page, stalking your page. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sending information, thinking that's going to get them some, get them some coochie. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, man, that's the perfect example, right? Mm -hmm. And then another thing is, D.C. is a dry snitching city. Okay. Yes. Oh, my goodness, man. Somebody be talking to your girl and be like, man, yeah, I saw um, Saeed, man. Yeah, he don't look like he's doing okay. Mm, that girl he was with, though. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, Slim, for real? Right. Like, I, I'm in the next room, man, for real. I mean, you really going to do that? You know, so. <laughs> he I mean, is it, telling it, some it's complete so many truth. Examples. <laughs> it's so many examples. I can't even. We'd be here till Tuesday talking about this. Right? <laughs> so, but wait a minute. Our engineer thing. said something. You said what, Wiley? He's telling all truth. It all the truth. Like all truth. It yes. just happened to him. Like, oh, no, okay. it, I mean, it's so frequent, it it. Might as well be, but yeah, he's he's on spot on with this. Yeah, um, we 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 when I, I when I wanted to get him on the show, I'm like, this guy tells the truth. Like it's it's funny, but it's the truth, right? Right. right. A lot of stuff that you say is very true. Um, I wanted to ask you about a question, one of your posts that you put out, because I just wanted to know if you was gonna tell the truth about who or who it might be, but you were talking about somebody spreading rumors about somebody. Well, never mind. Never mind. I ain't gonna do it. Well, you already put nah, your foot. You might as well mind. go and put your other foot in there. Never mind, no. Uh-uh. Uh, never mind. I'll change. Next question. <laughs> I, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> what do you I have might. planned for the holidays? You say what? What do you have planned for the holidays? I'm people watching. You, you know what I'm doing right now? What? I'm sitting outside the cigar lounge in the little lounge in the embassy suite. And I'm just watching goofy motherfucker after goofy motherfucker go up and down the steps. Oh, okay. That's what I do for the holiday. Oh, that's what... do stuff. I love people watching. But I mean, you know, I got I got a lot of kids, so I'm going to rotate between them. Oh, okay. You know, I got them from age 5 to 27. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to have a good time around the holiday. You got a 5-year-old? Yep. Yeah, 27, 26, 21, 10, and 5. Oh, that's nice. Cool grand boy. Nice. That's good. It's still working, right? Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> oh, it was working five years ago, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Told, what your mother say? Look, what your mother say? Your mother says she she wants you to have a uh, procedure. Man, let me tell you, my mother. I went. I, I said, I said, mom, what you gonna get me for my birthday? And she said, I'll get you a vasectomy. <laughs> no. But here's the funny part, y'all. The funny part is that's the third time. She she offered that the previous two father's day. Yeah, you know, know, you know how much that hurt your feelings when your mother says she want to get you a vasectomy on father's day. Right. I know. Most of the time, your mother wants grandkids. <laughs> Yours mm -hmm. wants you to stop. Yeah, she tired. She tired. I got all boys and one girl. Y'all got to keep oh, okay. that in mind. Okay. He's talking about I'm not gonna she cut tired. my man. Yeah, gonna, I never cut my keep man. You in prayer. Right. He's talking about I never cut my man. <laughs> <laughs> your folk, your 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 posts are usually off the chain, but. Um, Sonny, you got any more questions? You got any questions for Mr. Fuck Your Feelings? Well, you know Sequoia is closing down January 1st, and we won't yeah, be open. Yeah, I Come I on. I kind of heard a rumor. It's a little too cold to sit out there and look at, and look at Bridget pretty ass. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to find a little place. we got to find another place to do that. Well, right. don't you worry about it. <laughs> Next time I see you, though, definitely first drink on me. Quick question. Absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate that. For sure. <laughs> Best thing about social media? Worst thing about social media? 
Are you want me to tell it from my perspective or from guys, period? No, no I, I don't want yours. nobody else's yeah, perspective but yours now. Because I want you to fuck somebody fellas up in here today because I've been fucking them up all, right, all week. <laughs> can, can I take a break? <laughs> the, the best thing about social media for guys is the easiest dating Girls thing that you ever could possibly imagine, right? You, you, you wake up in the morning, 7 o'clock in the morning, there's a pair of boobies in your inbox that you didn't even ask for. Right, so they mm. can, and the worst thing about social media is it gives suckers a, a vehicle to 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 um, pretend to be something they not. That's right. That's the worst thing in the world about social media. People get a chance to pretend all day long. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this has well, been very right. informative. You were a lot of fun. I, <laughs> yes. I mean, let me be honest with you. I didn't think this was going to work because I was looking forward to seeing you at the station. Oh, but yeah, you I, I did good. Just, uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, hopefully, I can join y'all in the studio after this, after the new year at some point. Absolutely. Yeah, you definitely Absolutely. have some new material by then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You ever thought about comedy? You ever thought about comedy? Because you right, Here's it. the thing. I tell everybody the same thing. I've never told a joke in my life. Mm-hmm. Everything I say is true. Is the truth right, 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 right? So it's easy for me to observe something and say it's goofy if it's goofy. So okay. you just find it funny. Okay. But it's, not, it's not a joke. I don't sit. I've never written anything down a day in my life. Anybody try to fight you? Because Anybody try to he, fight you? Because you're allowing us to laugh at ourselves. So it's it's funny. Right. But, and then most people are not going to say the things that are the, the most true. Anybody right. try to fight you real quick? Anybody try to fight you? you? Anybody ever try to fight? Me? Yeah. Um. Nah. They. they you know. They, <laughs> that. That. That wouldn't work out too well. But and it's, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a big dude, so I keep a lot of stuff away from. Me. Okay. And then again, and a lot of the people that's on my page, they know me off the Facebook. Okay. And so, but nah, nobody never really took it. You know what? One time, I think a guy might have took it a little too seriously, and I, you know, it was, you know, I, 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 I politely told him what. This is where I'll be for the next two hours, and I'll be smoking a cigar. Oh, my God. If you take it too thoroughly and you get drunk, you know, then we can have a conversation. (laughs) Nice. All right. Well, we want to thank you for tuning in and checking in and being our guest today. This was fun. This was fun. Come to the studio any chance, anytime you want anything you want to promote, anything you want to talk about, you want to come here and talk some shit a little bit, we want you to hear. Appreciate y'all so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. And make sure right. everybody know fuck their feelings. I'm out of fuck for 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> and if they don't like it, good, they can do what? Absolutely. No, no, no. If they don't like it, they can go do what? They go can fuck you. Hey, look, they can, take their, they can go fuck themselves. Right, there it is. Oh, go no. fuck yourself. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for calling Thank in, Thank you. Thank All you. Right, you cool, were y'all. awesome. All right. Thanks, right. you. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. When we come back, y'all, we're going to do our spiritual moment. We're going to say our goodbyes and all of that. Thank That's you guys right. for tuning That's in. Right. I am sick. Bridget to make me sick. But anyway, we'll be right back.
Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome I need back. to give one more shout out. Can I give a shout out to our engineer, Wiley? Wiley, shout out he to Wiley. He has been working the <laughs> boards for us. Okay. I absolutely love it. Wiley on point today, too. He got the right logo today <laughs> like and everything. My, he know I like my music loud. He pumps my music for me. <laughs> Wiley has been working okay. the boards for us for a minute. So shout out to Wiley. Wiley is to the, yes. All right. <laughs> Wiley participated in everything today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's a church crap. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Sonny know I cut a step and everything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, nice. you better not go nowhere. <laughs> All right. Yes, pull it in, pull it in. Well, let's get but that's ready. right on. That's right. That, yes. Okay. So today's Tiva spiritual moment is on protection. I want to talk about protecting, uh, oh, praying for protection over your family, your friends, um, you know, your loved ones. Okay. Pray for protection from your enemies that they stay where they are and where they're assigned to stay, which is away from you. Okay. Pray Psalms 23 and 4 faithfully in these days and times. Psalms 23 and 4 says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. Pray that the light of God surrounds you. Pray that the love of God wraps you up like a cocoon. Pray that the power of God protects you. Pray that the presence of God watches over you, and that wherever you are, God is too. That's my Tiva spiritual moment today. She's about Pray to cry, protection. so we're going to go right, ahead right, and right, break right, this. We're gonna, right. I'm going to break this up. I'm going to uh, that. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Tiva spiritual moment. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, you Katrina. guys, yes. You Thanks guys, and, in, you and guys. please, happy holidays. Yep. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Eat a lot of food. Eat a lot of candy, candy canes, all of that good stuff, because I'm not going to eat all that stuff. When we okay. come back next Thursday, you guys can drop my Christmas gifts off. That'll be fine. Okay, where are they dropping it off to? Here. At ListenVisionsLive.com. Okay. Last shout out. Last shout out. Shout out to You Style Magazine in that's the building. Right, that's right, that's Shout right. out to uh, Salon Couture for the Cancer Survive Kids. Yes. Hey, man, y'all yes. did a real good thing. I'm yes. glad we was able to be a part of that's it. It right. rocked out. Yes. Them kids going to be happy. And yep. I, whoever has that baby, though, that keeps crying, yes. let me know, L Boogie. Okay. <laughs> that baby was talking and everything. I was driving in the car. I'm like, I know I'm not high. Talking. The baby was talking and crying and everything. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of baby is this? Like, this baby is doing the most up in this car. But uh, thank you guys for I tuning in. Awesome. We're done. Yes. It is for Network and Chicks Radio Show. Yes. Yes. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry
Let these cards and presents right here for me. 